Hello and welcome back. We've had a week off because it's been the international break and that is now over. Premier League is back with a bang. Some really good games uh, for this weekend, so it should be really interesting. Um, and let's kick it off. Let's go for it. I'm not looking at what I did in the previous weeks because that's gone. Gone. Let's crack on for this week. First game of the season. Uh, first game of the weekend is a massive, massive North London derby. It is going to be Arsenal versus Tottenham at the Emirates. Could be a tasty game. This um, Kane and Ali uh, obviously didn't play for England. People are saying should they have played? Oh well. It's only a couple of friendlies, weren't it? I'm not really bothered about international, to be fair. Um, so, it probably good that they, they rested them. Uh, but I am going to go for a Tottenham win at the Emirates, 2-1. Next off is um, Bournemouth versus Huddersfield. Could be a quite, a bit, quite interesting game, this one. Um, Bournemouth have actually done all right recently from what I can remember. They're playing some really good football, as they normally do. Uh, and I'm going to put this one down for a... 2-1 Bournemouth win. Next one, I predicted this was going to be a relegation uh, battle between the, these two. And actually, there is, I think Burnley are in seventh at the moment. Level on points with um, some of the top teams. Sean Dyche has done a really good job and that's why I was thinking about maybe he was going to be the next Everton manager. Um, I can see this one going to be a... What do I reckon? 1 0 Burnley. The reason I was laughing, I've got the BBC website on, and um, Will Farrell has actually been doing the predictions this week with um, Lawrence, uh, Lorimer, uh, and he put down a 5 5 draw. Um, next one, it's going to be a tricky game. Are Crystal Pies going to get their second one of the season? I don't think so. We've picked up now. You know who it is. It's the Everton. Come on, boys. They're playing at Crystal Palace at um, Selhurst Park. I don't even think of where they played then. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-1 second win for David Unsworth. Come on, Everton. Leicester versus Man City. There's only really one result in this one. Unless the international breaks uh, taken the... Uh, Taking the toll on Man City, but I can see Man City strong in this one. I'm going to say a 3 1 Man City. And here's next up one of the teams I've done absolutely rubbish on predicting this year. That is Liverpool. And they're at home to Southampton. So actually, if you think about it, it's Liverpool versus Liverpool reserves. Um, uh, I'm going to put this one down to. Uh, 2-0 Liverpool win Does that means it's going to be Southampton you can hear it here first West Brom versus Chelsea obviously um, there's been a lot of talks about uh, Conte is he going to stay is he going to go Do, who knows obviously Italy got knocked out of the World Cup and there have been talks about Conte taking over Italy Um there has been some unrest at Chelsea. Some of the players, I think, moaning about the Conte style of uh, training from what I've heard. The fact he's making them train harder. Oh, I think that's all a good thing, to be fair. Um, but I'm going to put this one down to a 2-0 Chelsea win. Man United versus Newcastle. And this is the other team I predict rubbish. Either I get a correct score from or nowhere near. Uh, which is Newcastle. So I'm going to go for a. Do I go for another two? Should I go for two? There may be there may be um, Ibra and Pogba on the bench for this game, but I'm going to keep it to what I thought: a two 0 win to Man United against Newcastle. Sunday game it could be a bit of a boring game. This one. One reason that is. West Ham are going to stop conceding. West Ham have made, in my honest opinion, if they could get David Moyes, who was at Everton, it's a good signing for West Ham. He was really good for us. If you think what he did in that 10 years, 
Yeah, he didn't win anything, but he brought us up from a team battling relegation to a team fourth, fifth, and sixth most seasons. Yeah, it's better than better than fighting relegation. If he can, if they can get the David Moyes play uh, the David Moyes style going, I don't know whether the West Ham fans are going to like it there because they do like the football being played. Um, but it could be tricky this one. Obviously, Watford have scored, and obviously in our last game. They were 2 0 up and it looked like they were easily going to get three points. But then we came back and beat them 3 2. Can I see Watford scoring? It depends on what David Moyes has managed to do. I'm wondering whether it's going to be a 1 0 to Watford or a 0 0 draw and he's kept it tight. I'm going to go for a 0 0 because I've not had one this week. And then Mon oh, excuse me. Monday night, it's back to down the south to Brighton versus Stoke City. I'm actually going to go for a Brighton win. I really like to wait. Act or oh, do I do I go for a draw? I really like the way Brighton have played, but Stoke have started picking up a bit of form recently. Um, no, I am going to go for a Brighton win. I am going to go for a one nil. Brighton. So that is my predictions for this week. Obviously, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you don't. Make sure you subscribe to my gaming channel, and please comment below what you think the score is going to be. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.